This video we're going to look at tree diagrams. There's a bit of notes here for you to read, uh, but we're going to jump straight into the examples and show you how we work these. But tree diagrams are basically just a really nice way of showing in the form of a diagram, a very visual way of looking at probabilities and it makes it uh, an awful lot easier than if you would actually sit down and work, down all, work out all the possible outcomes. So we're going to jump straight onto this example here and see how we're going to do it. In this example, it says a box contains five red and three blue marbles. If three marbles are selected without replacement, find the probability of selecting at random. And the first part is three blue marbles, and two blue marbles, and three is at least one blue marble. Okay, the first thing we're going to have to do is draw our tree diagram. I'm going to pause the video, draw this half decent diagram, and then I will uh, start the video again and explain what I'm uh, doing. Okay, so we've got our, our tree diagram drawn. We still have to fill in probabilities, but this is my first pick. So if you can imagine this pair of branches here, this is my first pick. I could have randomly jumped in and grabbed either a red or a blue. And then this is my second pick, so I could have grabbed either a, a red, a blue, or red, or a blue. So uh, along this branch so far, this is getting a red and then a red, so two reds. This would getting a red and then a blue. This is getting a blue and then a red. This is getting a blue and a blue. And this a set of six branches is going to be my third pick. So I could get uh, red, 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 blue, red, blue, red, red, blue, 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 red, red, blue, red, blue, 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 red, blue, blue, blue. So we now have to work out the probabilities. So the first thing uh, straight off out of the bag then, we have got five red and we have a, uh, eight in total. So it's the chances of getting a red at the start is five out of eight. Chances of getting a blue at the start is in three out of eight. Now I always look, any pair of branches always adds up to one. So that's a very, makes life very easy for you at times to work out the corresponding probability. So any pair of branches adds up to one. Okay, if I've already picked out a red and that's not replaced, that means I am down one red. So I've only got four reds left and also I'm down one overall. So it's four out of seven. And remember, and if every pair of branches add up, adds up to one, so that is going to be three out of seven. So four out of seven plus three out of seven adds up to seven out of seven, which is one. Or if you don't like that, that's a, that is a quicker way of doing it, what I've just said. But if you don't like that, if you think I've pulled out in my first pull, uh, pick, I picked out a red. So I was down one red, but I still have the same number of blues. So I still have my three blues, but my total has gone down by one. So you can do it that way if you want, but it's a wee bit slower. Okay, we'll do this next branch. If I pull out uh, a blue at the start, then I have got still got the same amount of uh, reds left. So I've still got my five reds, but my total has gone down by one. So it's five out of seven. My blues then, I've only got two blues left, and out of seven. Okay, and here, the top one on the right-hand side, I've... Take on, already taken out another red, so I'm down to three reds left out of six. And here is a one time I'll be saying not to cancel down. It makes it easier if you don't cancel down here. And again, that's three out of six. And if we just run through the rest of these, so you know how we're doing these, I'm just going to fill them in and you can uh, fill them in yourself. Right, we've got a tree diagram filled in. What we are asked to find in the very in the first part is to find probably of getting a blue, a blue, and a blue. Now that corresponds to this bottom branch. So if we have a look here, I picked the blue first, I picked the blue second, I picked the blue third. So it's blue, blue, blue. And what how you do this is you just multiply along the branches. So it's three over eight times two over seven times one over six and you do that on your calculator and you'll get one over 56. okay part two says the probability of two blues so we're looking for the probability of two blues and there's a couple of ways of doing this so 
I'm going to start with the blues. Um, I could have a blue, a blue, and a red. That would be two blues. So probably probability of a blue, a blue, and a red. Or, and if you say or in mathematics, you say you put a plus. And I could have, I could have a blue, a red, and a blue. So this branch here. So it was a blue, a red, and a blue. Or I could have start with a red i could have a red a blue and a blue so there's my so i was red blue and blue so those three branches there so what you've got to do is do three multiplying sums and then add them together so let's just look at what these sums are so uh just to show you i'm going to show you the long way of doing this and then the quicker smarter way of doing this one as well so let's look at the bottom or the bottom branch, the blue, blue, red branch, to see what, what it looks like. It looks like 3 over 8 times 5, sorry, 3 over 8 times 2 over 7 times 5 over 6. And if we look at our, then this is blue, red, blue, would be 3 over 8 times 5 over 7 times 2 over 6. And the last one, would be starting with the red, so 5 over 8 times 3 over 7 times 2 over 6. Okay, you could do this and work this out and you will get uh, 15 over 56, which, take my word for it, is correct. But let's have a look at these sums that we've got. So the first sum was 3 over 8 times 2 over 7 times 5 over 6. Let's just concentrate the numbers on the numerator, the top line. You've got 3 times 2 times 5. And look at the numbers in the numerator here. You've got 3 times 5 times 2, which is exactly the same. So 3 times 2 times 5 is the same as 3 times 5 times 2. Likewise, the numerators, it's 5 times 3 times 2, so the same three numbers are multiplied. And on the bottom of each, it's 8 times 7 times 6, so that these three things are the same. So we could, the smarter way of doing it, there's nothing wrong with what I've done, but the smarter way of doing it is just to pick one of those probabilities. Uh, just pick one of those probabilities, uh, in this case, which is going to be, I will go for uh, three times, you've got three lots of the same thing, basically three over eight times uh, two over seven times one, times, what was it, sorry, times five over six. And then if you work that out, again, you will get 15 over 56. Okay, last part of this question says at least one blue marble. So let's just have a look at this. We're looking for probably at least one blue. Now, at least one blue, it means I could have one blue, I could have two blues, I could have three blues. So I can have any, anything except no blues. So it really is one minus the probability of no blues. So that's really what you're looking for in this one. So this is a very good, important example. For us, no, so that's one minus the probability of no blues. So that no blues really in this context is red, 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 which is one minus, and the probability of a red is five over eight. And then a red in the second one is 4 over 7. And a red in the third one is 3 over 6. And if you do that, you will get... I will scroll down a wee bit. If you do that, what you will get is 1 minus... And it's going to be 5 over 28, which works out to be 23 over 28. And that's it. So that's the end of our first tree diagrams example. We've got one more tree diagrams to go in this video. This example says the probability it rains in Belfast is 0.65. If it rains, the probability of fill exercising is 0.3. Otherwise, it is uh, 0.82. Find the probability that it rains and fill exercises or just fill exercises. So our tree diagram here, uh, it either rains and the probability of it raining is 0.65, or it doesn't rain. So how you say doesn't rain or not rain is the R with the wee line across the top. And it rains, probably it rains is uh, 0.65. So I'm going to just say that it's going to be 0.35.
We're not reading because remember, pair of branches always add up, probabilities always add up to one. And then Phil either exercises or he doesn't exercise. And he exercises or he doesn't exercise. So the probability it, it, uh, of Phil exercising, if it rains, the probability of Phil exercising is 0.3. So he's only going to exercise 0.3. Then that means he probably he won't exercise is 0.7. And otherwise, if it doesn't rain, then the probability of him exercising is 0.82, which means this one has to be uh, 0.18. We have got our tree diagram done. We're now ready to go. Uh, it says find the probability that it rains and Phil exercises. So rains and he exercises. So that is just this branch. So you're just multiplying it along. So it's just going to be 0 0.65 times 0.3. And you do that on your calculator. And I've got 0.195 for part two. It finds it says find a probability that Phil exercises. So uh, he Phil exercises. There's two ways you can get to Phil exercising. It could rain, and he exercises. Or, and when you say or, you add. It could not rain, not rain, and he exercises as well. Okay, so raining and him exercising, we've actually worked out. Uh, that was uh, earlier on, I'm just going to show the full working out, but we had that worked out was 0 0.1, 0 0.195, but it's 0.65 times 0.3, or not raining and exercising. So that was our raining and exercising, that would have just uh, put the asterisks on, or not raining and exercising would be this one. So it was 0 0.35 times 0.3. Two. So if we work this out, fire that into your calculator, you will get 0 0.482. And that is it. So tree diagrams, that's our tree diagrams what you've done. Just a very easy way then of uh, setting things out so you can clearly see the probabilities and how they're, how they're going to work out and see all the possible outcomes at the end.